And here are some signing day tweets that caught our attention today. Auburn had a page prepared for Rashawn Evans in the event he signed with the Tigers. Somehow it was discovered or leaked. We don't know how and posted to Twitter. Wow, social media, boy, it'll get you even on signing day. How about Solomon Thomas, who bright and early this morning made his commitment to Stanford and sported these glasses. A huge, huge five-star pickup for the Cardinal. And here's a tweet from former major leaguer Aaron Boone. He must not have talked to Oregon fans and Jill Savage, USC fan and alum sends out this one. Mama on board, Adori and Juju, your turns now, hashtag fight on. So we haven't done this in a little while, guys. Tweet, retweet or delete. I can't even say it, it's been it's so, been so long. long, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know, Brian, uh, since you're our special guest, we're gonna let you go first, all right? So here's a tweet, a Texas tweet from Big Mike. Been watching Jared Hurd highlights, the other QBs on campus better bring it or they will be watching him start as a true freshman. Hashtag wow. You gonna retweet or delete that? I'm actually gonna, I'm going to retweet it, but that may not be a good thing because anytime you have a true freshman playing quarterback, something's wrong. Max Wittick's coming. Delete that. Max <laughs> Wittick's going to be signing on. That's the. That's what's the. All right. News is, so. hey, he's antsy. He's ready I, to go. I'd, I'd retweet ready to that. Go. I'll agree with Brian. I'd retweet that. All right, few. This one's for you. UK Wildcats on top says, "I think today proved UK football can go up against the best in recruiting. It's a new era. Mark Stoops and company aren't going to back down." Hashtag BBN for Big Blue Nation. Okay, I'll delete, but with a little bit of a caveat here that they are competing with the other guys. I don't know if they can do it year in and year out. I don't think they can battle with the Alabamas and LSUs of the world every single year, but they're hanging in there. And we saw last year with Ole Miss, you know, even if you have an amazing recruiting class, you still might be the seventh best in the SEC when it comes to recruiting hall, but at least they're getting athletes and players. I'm going to delete it, but they're hanging in there this time. All right, Doug, here's, it's your turn now, my All friend. Right, this one it. from John Middlecoff. You're going to retweet or delete this. Jim Mora Jr. has a Pete Carroll feel to him. Can recruit and coach. I'd buy stock now while you can. And I'd retweet that. I, I know UCLA fans hope that he does have some of that Pete Carroll in him. He's winning the recruiting war. He's beaten USC the last two years. I mean, they've got some consistency there at coach. They haven't had the staff turnover. Morris was being pulled a couple directions. He stayed there. I'm going to retweet that. Okay, very good. And I know UCLA fans are excited to have him there. Now going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Steve Sarkeesian there at USC. Guys, thanks very much.